We're a supplier uh, to Amazon. We let them use our network for free. And unlike Microsoft and Google, who then discount for their customers the price of bandwidth, Amazon stands alone in the industry as not doing that. And we think that that's not good for customers. We've always been obsessed with our mutual customers. And we want, to, we want them to stand up to being as obsessed as they say that they are about customers as well, not just for Amazon.com, but for AWS as well. So why isn't this something that the market would take care of? I mean, it seems like if uh, Microsoft and Google are doing this discounting, that perhaps provides them with an opportunity to argue that they're better for customers under certain cir uh, circumstances than AWS is, even though AWS is leading, right? Well, I think that what you've seen recently is actually Google and Microsoft increase their share of the cloud computing market and more and more customers pushing back on Amazon. So I do hope that the pressure from customers is something that will eventually change Amazon's ways. But one of the other things that Amazon does, which is very not customer friendly and actually gives them a really substantial lock-in over their customers, is that they actually charge you to send data out from their system, but they don't charge you to put data in. And so that actually creates an incentive that makes it very difficult for customers to switch. And there's no rational basis for that. The wholesale bandwidth pricing is charged on a symmetrical basis. It's the exact same price in versus out. And yet Amazon uses their pricing in order to lock customers into their service and, and not be very customer friendly. Right, that Hotel California analogy I think you referred to in the blog post. Matthew, this isn't the first time though that you have called out Amazon. Um, a few weeks ago, there was a report that Amazon was trying to form the so-called Rebel Alliance with other tech companies like Dropbox and Slack to better take on Microsoft's uh, suite of enterprise productivity apps. You, on Twitter, you said, trust the real Rebels, never trust Amazon. Why not? You know, I think that w once again, Amazon in their cloud computing products has really designed their system in order to make it something where you put your data in, but then it is incredibly expensive to take it out. What we hear from customers is that they want to be in a multi-cloud environment where they can take advantage of the best that Amazon has to offer, Google has to offer, IBM has to offer, Microsoft has to offer, and move their data to wherever is, is the best. What, what we, however, see from Amazon is that they have designed their pricing and their technology products in order to lock customers in and not give them choice. And so, again, I, I really like uh, companies like Shopify and, and Toby, the leader over there, who, who, who I think is one of the real rebels and standing up to Amazon and, and thinking about how they can build systems that really empower uh, individual small businesses and merchants to be able to sell as much as they can online uh, without having to do it the Amazon way. Right, and trust or lack of, of it has been a theme in a number of their business. You identify AWS and perhaps a productivity suite, but even with their merchants on the e-commerce platform, there is this growing worry that if you hand over your data to Amazon, it could turn around and perhaps use it against you, right? Because they're going into so many different businesses. Is that also part of it? Is that a concern that you think uh, companies need to be aware of when working with Amazon or doing business with them? You know, we're increasingly seeing our customers, uh, again, wanting and, and to have the best of all of the different clouds. And Amazon has great products and, and customers should be able to choose those products when they're the right thing. But they shouldn't be forced to, if they choose any Amazon product, have to use the entire Amazon suite. And so, again, I think that what we hear from customers, especially in the e-commerce space, is that there's increasingly distrust of Amazon and, and again, Amazon on a day, almost daily basis seems to go into a new line of business. So while it's e-commerce today, it might be banking or healthcare tomorrow. Uh, sounds like a line we were hearing about Microsoft 20 years ago that, that people are saying less now, though I guess there are a lot of companies going into multiple lines of business. Give me your perspective, Matthew, as we head deeper into this earnings season on how business customers are spending on tech in the face of the Delta variant. Uh, I, I can imagine that some might be pulling back because of the uncertainty, but some might be leaning in uh, because technology gives them some optionality. What are you seeing? Sure, so without talking about this quarter, uh, for previous quarters, uh, what we saw at the very beginning of the pandemic was that customers were looking for ways to be able to ensure that they 
could keep the lights on. It was an incredibly scary time a year ago for IT organizations around the world. At the beginning of this year in Q1, as we talked about last quarter, um, we, were, we, we saw that IT organizations were starting to pull their heads out of the sand and say, listen, we've, we've lived through this. We never want to go through that again. And they were transitioning their spend from on-premise hardware, uh, which just doesn't work in an increasingly uh, agile and remote workforce world to services like Cloudflare, where they can make sure that they support their customers, whether they're working from the office or working from home. <laughs> what we're seeing in our business is, and in, in, in terms of our own employees, is that there is uh, still concern over the Delta variant and, and, the, uh, and, and how that is spreading around the world. And so we're watching it closely uh, on, with our own team, making sure that everyone is safe and not forcing anyone to get back to the office anytime soon.